Once upon a time, in a small town shrouded in mystery, there stood a house with a dark and tragic history. This was no ordinary house. It was known as the Tiny Hands House, a name that sent shivers down the spines of the townspeople. The locals whispered in hushed tones about the strange and eerie events that had unfolded within its walls. I've never lived in a haunted house, but my mother did as a teen, begins our tale, echoing the words of a storyteller. The house had a reputation, and it was a reputation well-earned. Other homes on the same street had their own unsettling stories, but none could quite match the chilling nature of the tiny hands house. It was a fateful night when the daughter of the family living a few houses away from the tiny hands house went to bed with a terrible headache. The next day, the town was in mourning as it learned that she had passed away from an aneurysm. The entire community was shaken by the tragic loss, and the air was heavy with grief. In the aftermath of the daughter's passing, the family decided to leave the town to seek solace and respite from their pain. They approached a trusted relative, the uncle of a young woman who would later become the storyteller's mother, to look after their home and their beloved pets. Little did they know that this simple request would set in motion a series of events that would defy all logic and reason. Accompanied by her father, who was studying to be a veterinarian, the young woman, full of curiosity, joined her uncle on the visit to the now deserted house. Her mother had heard rumors of a grand piano within the house, and she was eager to lay her hands on its keys. As they entered the house, an ominous feeling settled over them, but they brushed it off as mere nerves. While her uncle and father made their way to the basement to check on the animals, the young woman made a beeline for the grand piano on the ground floor. As she began to play, the melancholic notes filled the silent house, and for a moment, she was lost in the music. However, her reverie was abruptly shattered when she felt something, a gentle brush against her ankles. Assuming it was one of the family's pets, she continued to play, but then it happened again. This time, the touch was more distinct, more deliberate. Fearing the unknown, she peered under the piano, only to find nothing but darkness staring back at her. As she resumed playing, she was seized by a sensation that turned her blood to ice. Hands, small and cold, clasped tightly around her legs. In a panic, she fled to the basement, her heart pounding in her chest, and called out to her uncle and father. As they emerged from the depths of the house, they were met with the sight of her trembling form, her eyes wide with fear. She recounted the chilling experience, and her uncle's face drained of all color. He revealed to her the haunting truth. The daughter who had tragically perished in the house used to play a mischievous game with her father. Whenever he sat down to play the piano, she would crawl underneath, her little hands reaching out to grasp his ankles, her presence known only by the subtle movements of his feet on the pedals. The young woman's heart raced as she realized that she had felt the touch of the departed daughter, a presence that lingered in the house long after her untimely death. The events of that night would stay with her, a haunting reminder of the thin veil that separates the world of the living from the realm of the departed. As the years passed, the story of the Little Hands House became a part of the town's folklore, a cautionary tale whispered to children as they huddled around campfires. The house itself stood as a silent witness to the inexplicable, its windows reflecting the secrets it held within. And the young woman, now a mother herself, would often recount the chilling events of that night, a story that would send shivers down the spines of all who heard it. In the end, the Tiny Hands House remained a place of mystery and unease, a testament to the enduring power of the supernatural and the lingering presence of those who had passed beyond the veil. The story of the house with the grand piano and the touch of unseen hands would live on, a timeless tale of the inexplicable that defied all rational explanation. And so the legend of the Tiny Hands House endures, a story that continues to captivate and unsettle all who dare to hear its whispered secrets. This story, is a tale of the supernatural, the unexplained, and the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of the unknown. It weaves together elements of mystery, tragedy, and the inexplicable, offering a glimpse into a world where the line between the living and the departed is blurred, and the echoes of the past linger on in the present.